Hey, hey, all you mentees, this is the Uncanny Omar from Near Mint Condition, and join me today as I do an overview of these three hardcovers from Udon Studios. We're going to be looking at the Udon's Art of Capcom, so let's do this. And welcome back, everybody. Now, before I get started, a huge thank you to the folks at Udon for sending us copies of these three hardcovers. These three hardcovers are already out in the direct market and in the book market. So they're easily accessible through CheapGraphicNovels.com, uh, in stock trades, or Amazon, depending on where you get your books or your local comic book shop if you want to support them. Now, I do want to say this is the first time we've had these volumes released in hardcover edition. We've had volumes one and two previously released in the softcover editions, but if you know much about these older Udon softcover editions, the binding of them down here, the glued binding, isn't really the best for books this thick. So these are a welcome upgrade to these books. Uh, none of them have any dust jackets, it's just art on the board, and they all retail for $49.99. Um, so, actually, Volumes 1 and 2 have more pages than the original trade paperback versions of 1 and 2, so that's really good. We're going to be looking at each volume and talking about just some of the artwork in there. So let's go ahead and get started with Volume 1. So we have this cover here with characters from Street Fighter, Rival Schools, Darkstalkers, and inside that's what exactly what we're going to see. We're going to see characters from Street Fighter, from Rival Schools, from Darkstalkers, World of Capcom, like Mega Man. Mega Man's had his own art book, but this is literally the art of Udon. So it's all these artists right here, like Ali Garza, Arnold Tseng, Alvin uh, Lee, Omar Dogen, Jeffrey Chamba Cruz, names that you're probably familiar with because Studio Udon has been around for a long time and they've done more than just video games from Japan. Japan. Art books or comic books like the Street Fighter and Darkstalker comic books. Long before that, they were working uh, for Marvel, like they did the Deadpool run with Gail Simone and then went on to do Agent X. Uh, they did the Taskmaster miniseries, and it was mainly Arnold Tseng and Alvin Lee. Those are the two names that I really remember from back then. But that's what each of these books are. It's these artists from Udon and their take on these characters. And now these are covers, their promotional artwork, their original pieces, there's variant covers in here, and I've always been a big fan of this variant cover right here from Arnold Tseng. Just the perspective of Cami is amazing. Then you have uh, American artists that you are probably familiar with, like Jeffrey Scott Campbell. And is that Kevin Lau? Kevin Lau had a run on X-Force. There's Arnold Tseng, is that? Carrie Andrews. So all these artists that have worked on uh, Marvel books, worked on DC books, they do their own take on these characters, but let's move on. So most of these, oh man, Joe Chen's variant covers. Most of these have been already collected in the Street Fighter comics, uh, the hardcover editions. There are variants in the back, but then some of them have not. Some of them are new, like these are the collected editions, the trade paperbacks, the exclusive Comic-Con covers. I had no idea about these covers here. I didn't know about Dan. And I think these are body pillows. Uh, I know they make body pillows. That's from the DVD. Gosh, I can't believe they've been around for so many years. That's also from the DVD. That's from the Alpha video game or the DVD. They it, it makes me feel old to realize how long they've been around as long as some of these games. But, you know, we've seen plenty of Street Fighter stuff. Let's look at Darkstalkers here. You have some pinup artwork from Darkstalkers. There's my girl Morgan. Donovan's my dude, though. Rival Schools. Always good to see these lesser-known games back here. Like, I, I think they have some Warzard characters, Red Earth, characters like that. I don't think they have any of the Dungeons & Dragons games because, again, some of that stuff has something to do with copyrights. I want to say that is a Joe Mad Resident Evil. Yeah, that's from a magazine. Tron. Yeah, this is a really cool art book. This one, uh, this volume right here has 320 pages. And like I said, all three of these retail for $49.99. That is freaking awesome. That's from Capcom Fighting Evolution. And they also did like some of the animation for the video games, the ending of the video game. So I won't show any. Hey, Capcom Fighting Evolution. They, I forgot they did that. God bless. That was over a decade ago with obscure characters from Warzard and Red Earth. But let's keep going and looking at Volume 2. 
And here's Volume 2. Again, uh, characters from Darkstalkers, characters from Street Fighter 4, and then in the back you have characters from Darkstalkers. Udon's Art of Capcom Part 2. Yeah, let me know in those comments down below who is a fan of art books. I have my top 10 favorite art books. I collect uh, anime art, but not as much as I used to. I used to be big into collecting uh, art of anime or art of video games. I think one of my favorite ones to this day is the art of Lunar. It's both Lunar, Silver Star Story, and Lunar Eternal Blue. Uh, so this here introduces us to this wonderful artist that has grown to be probably my favorite Udon artist. Used to be Arnold Sang. Not to knock Arnold Sang down a peg, but this is Jeffrey Chamba Cruz, and his art is just oh, phenomenal. I love his fighting sequences. Uh, he's done the Unlimited Street Fighter comic, so we know that he can do sequential comic book art, and he is a phenomenal artist. So this has artwork from Street Fighter 4, Let's keep going because we see plenty of Street Fighter all the time. And that's mainly what it is. We have backgrounds from Street Fighter. That's Omer Dogen, if I'm not mistaken. I can always tell his colors. And then the world of Capcom here. We have Rival Schools. I want to say... What is this from? Is that from Street Fighter 2010, the final fight? Oh, Pocket Fighter. Damn, super... Oh, not Pocket Fighter. This is Puzzle Fighter. What am I saying? And then Devilot. That's from Cyberbots. She was a hidden character as well as Dan. Mega Man, of course. Gotta have some Mega Man. Hansel, he's from Power Stone. Oh, okay, cool. So here are characters like... Uh, this is Demon's Crest from Gargoyle's Quest and Breath of Fire. There's Nina, Resident Evil. So you do see characters like that. Like there's Strider. So I named my dog after him. And of course, Aragorn. 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 Oh, and Kenny Omar talk pretty one day. From... Lord of the Rings, it's Final Fight, and then some game projects. So this is some of the animation that they used in the remake of the HD uh, Street Fighter that came out, I think, on the PS3 and Xbox 360 many years ago. But, oh my gosh, that thing, that thing was in development hell for about a decade. Uh, this book has 324 pages. Here's some more artwork from just different... Capcom video games. And as far as the binding of the book, let's look at that. So it is sewn binding and not much of an eye. So it makes splash pages like this. You know, you got some gutter loss. You can't really see all of Morgan's face. Kind of stinks. And let's keep going. We got one more. And here's what all three of the spines look like together. You have different colors and different characters from different games down here. But here is volume three. Now, what's really cool when we got these books in is the whole family got involved because my kids are so into Mega Man right now. It's insane. It's a Mega Man type of holiday here in our household. Everything is Mega Man. So I showed them some of the art books. And, of course, every time these books showed Mega Man, they were like, oh, my gosh, it's Snake Man. It, it's Shadow Man. You know, they're talking about their favorite characters. They've been listening to the theme. Now, this one's really cool. I like the way that this one spread out because it's really just everywhere. It's not just Street Fighter in the front. It's all kinds of characters from different video games. So they're scattered about. Whereas before, it was mainly Street Fighter in one section, then other, then Mega Man, then Darkstalkers. This is separated by artist. So I think that works better. So it shows the portrayal of all these. So it shows the artist's take on these characters, no matter what video game they're from. That is really badass. There's a lot of badassness in here. And I mentioned my kids looking at this. So, I mean, honestly, this is, it's not the swimsuit edition. Let's just say that. Uh, there's a couple pictures that are kind of questionable, but, you know, every parent's different. Now, these are awesome. So we get some variants, of course, uh, from different comics, from the Unlimited comics, like a take on The Dark Knight Returns, but these are my favorites, like The Secret Wars, uh, The X-Men, Age of Apocalypse, uh, take on that, The Archie, Walking Dead. This is a cover of Wizard Magazine. I want to say that was Jan Dorsima that drew that originally. And, of course, the Batman Breaking of the Bat, Wildcats, the Street Fighter movie, Magnus Robot Fighter, Kingdom Come, uh, X-Men 2099, She-Hulk. 
That's actually from Deadpool, that Udon, that Alvin Lee did. But this is Jeffrey Chamba Cruz, uh, a take on Alvin Lee. And this is from Giant Size X-Men. I think that's Danger Girl. And, of course, X-Men number one with Magneto by Jim Lee. And so on. And let's look at... Yes! I love that cover. I need to get that. I have the soft cover edition of the tribu tribute book. I don't have the hard cover. So it's different takes on Mega Man characters. Yeah, my kids were all over this stuff. So I think it's it's really cool. I like the way that this one is separated. Let's look back here at other artwork. It's a Street Fighter versus Darkstalker. Some of the covers, some of the variants. Some of the stuff you've seen before, like I mentioned in the collections. But not everybody gets the collections. Not everybody gets the comic collections. But not everybody gets the comic collections. Some of you all just like art books, and that's why they collect them all in this. Uh, this one here has 304 pages, and I can't flip through here because that is the ending of Street Fighter V. So... Instead, let's look at some of these covers. Here's a Strider uh, new video game that was a pitch, but it, nothing ever happened with it. And then some of these ridiculous costume designs for Street Fighter 4. What the hell is happening in some of these pictures? It's pretty interesting. That, there is a lot of that in here. It's good that it's good to see that Capcom and uh, Street Fighter and Mega Man, all of these have become a household name. I'm glad that it's still a part of my life, even though I don't play as much as I used to. But I have been playing Mega Man with my kids, and all the themes are still stuck in my head, especially from one, two, and three. Um, let's see. As far as the back, they just tell you what other books are available from Udon, and then of course uh, the book layout and the credits as to who did what. And the binding, as I mentioned, same as Volume 2 and 1. It is sewn binding, but it has just a little bit of an eye. This one actually looks a little bit bigger, so this one might be better. But that, as they say, is that. Now, these books are available from our sponsor, CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for brand new graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off the cover price. Cheap Graphic Novels prides itself on packaging your books so they arrive safely and in excellent condition, as well as prompt and helpful service. Beginning Thanksgiving morning, visit their bargain bin for Black Friday deals up to 90% off cover price. New items will be added throughout the day and the rest of the holiday season. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discounts, quality shipping, and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. And that was the content, the page count, and the build of these books. Let me know in those comments down below. If you're a big fan of art books like I am, if you love the Capcom video games, or if you're a fan of Udon, what they did all the way back from the days of Deadpool when they had their own studio and now they're doing nothing but Capcom stuff, let me know in those comments down below if you're picking these up, if you've never heard of this, and what you thought of it. Again, this was the Uncanny Omar. Please don't forget to hit that like, subscribe button, and ring that bell for notifications to let you know when our videos are going live. We can be found on Redbubble and on Patreon. Amazing ways to support the channel if you can do so. More importantly, please everybody stay healthy, stay safe, and much love to all of you.